Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project. So this little guy crawling around is the spotted cucumber beetle. Now I have these as well as the striped cucumber beetle in my garden munching on my plants. Now I shared with you in a past video that I was having problems with the cucumber beetles in my garden and you can see here they've been munching on my cucumber plants as well as my pumpkin plants, melons like watermelons and cantaloupe plants. They really have been destroying the garden. Now I've noticed them a couple of weeks now. I probably should have got a trap out sooner but I didn't. You live and learn. Um, so you can see the damage. You'll start to have yellowing of the leaves, holes in the leaves, and it really is disappointing when you work so hard in the garden, starting your plants from seed to come out here and see that plants are starting to wilt, their vines starting to yellow. So this is what I ordered from Amazon. Cucumber beetle trap and lure. It traps spotted and striped cucumber beetles, Great for cucumber, cantaloupe, winter and summer squash, pumpkin, gourd, watermelon, and many other species of cucurbits. Ready to use, non-toxic, long-lasting, poison-free, and contains two traps and two lures. So these are pretty pricey at close to $20, so $10 a trap, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So on the back here, it does have trap assembly instructions and trap placement. You want to place the trap at crop height when the cucumber beetles start to appear. Now, like I said, I probably should have caught this sooner because they have been around a little while. And you want to replace the trap when it's filled with beetles or it gets dirty. The lure is attractive for three to four weeks, depending on temperatures. And I have found that these instructions aren't that great, the pictures aren't that great, but I'm sure that I can figure it out. So I think I'll use my handy dandy shepherd's hook. I used it when I hung my Japanese beetle trap that worked out fantastic. Now I have it placed right here in the center of the garden, right where all the beetle action is happening, and that's pretty much everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this trap and get it assembled, and let's get to it. So I'm going to quickly open the package here and like I said it does come with two traps and two lures so I'll be able to use one later on or maybe just save it for the next season. You can see some pictures here like I said I really think the instructions are not that great um, but it does have a little picture here showing that the lure is placed in the inside and the trap you keep the sticky surface on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it assembled so it'll look something like this. So I have two yellow traps, two lures, one in each of their foil packaging. So I'm gonna take one of each and get it assembled. So this yellow trap, it looks like that the long kind of twist tie that the whole thing gets assembled together with or gets held together and also the hanging device is all with this long kind of bread tie looking thing. So it looks like it's just one long piece of this yellow kind of, I don't know, plastic material. And you just pull the two ends apart, exposing the sticky surface. And then you can just kind of fold it back on itself and then run your tie through the hole here. So I have the tie through the holes at the top. The sticky surface is on the outside. Now I'm just going to kind of loosely attach it to the shepherd's hook so it can hang here to keep it clean while I open the lure. So the foil packaging that holds the lure is pretty tough to open with your hands. So I use some scissors to kind of give me a head start. So using some scissors or a knife will be a lot easier to open this package. Now it does smell pretty strong, which is good. That means it should work. You can see the lure here sandwiched in between two pieces of plastic. I guess that's for kind of some outdoor protection and it has a hole at the top that the tie will go through. So now I'm gonna gently remove one side of the trap from the tie so that I can place the lure in the inside. So I'm just gonna line up the holes here and run the tie through both holes so that the lure is now hanging in the inside. So now the trap is assembled. I can go ahead and attach it back to the shepherd's hook 
So here it is, assembled, attached to the hook, ready to go. So I think I'll give it about 24 hours and show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. So guys, this is the next day, 24 hours later. Look at it, it's covered with beetles and a few other insects. So it really does attract them, this lure and the beautiful bright yellow color. So really happy with this product. I would use it again. Um, so we shall see how it holds up. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, place them down in the comment section below. And I hope you will subscribe to my channel, give it a like, follow me on Instagram. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.